Hello and welcome back to Lorefent Gaming's Don't Panic series. I'm your host Lorefent. Today it's a special Halloween edition of Don't Panic video guides. I am doing the classic Diablo 1. Now please note this is the original version, not the Diablo Plus Hellfire expansion. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more guides like this. And don't forget that notification bell to be updated more. So you're uh, wondering, wait a second, there's a monster down there. It can steal hit points. It's about to murder me. Or this uh, skeleton with a big sword is about to crush me. What do I do? How do I defeat it? Well, guess what? With this uh, Don't Panic series, I'm going to explain the three classes, the spells, shrines, or anything else that is important, including item prefixes and suffixes. So let's go ahead and begin the Don't Panic series. So let me uh, go ahead and explain the three uh, classes. So first of all is the warrior class. They're upfront melee fighters. They have the best strength and vitality in the uh, game. Upside is they're great at early uh, game. They can wear all the weapons and armor with exception of bows. However, downside, they cannot use all the bows. They cannot use all spells to get them to maximize. And late game, they do suffer. So let's go ahead and uh, get the uh, next one on the list, which is the rogue. Next up is the uh, rogue. First of all, they have the highest dexterity. In other words, they have the highest chance to hit with a weapon. Especially that's very nice. Number uh, one, number uh, two, they can use the best bows in the game, which is really good, and they're good at uh, mid-game. So, what is the disadvantages? First of all, they cannot learn uh, maximum spells. They're a little bit better than fires on that department. They not, cannot equip all armor. Uh, after mid-game, they will uh, suffer heavily at late-game. One last disadvantage, their uh, class skill sucks over the warrior and sorcerer. It's the worst one. So the next one is the sorcerer class. Last but not leastly, the sorcerer class. They can use the best magic spells in the game, level up their magic at maximum. Their spell level will be uh, maximum. Also, uh, magic is on their side, and magic is king in this game. They're a uh, great mid to late game. Late game, they're the best class ever. So, what are the disadvantages? First of all, lower strength, low dexterity, low vitality. Early game, you're going to suffer. And, of course, uh, you cannot wear all the weapons and armor. And cannot all use all the bows, too. Other than that, that's it for the sorcerer. So, let me go ahead and review the three of them real quick before going to the next section. So, what is best tailored for me? I'm going to be honest, the sorcerer class is the best because once they get to mid-game, and max out their uh, spell levels on certain magic like fireball. Yeah, you're going to wreck things. I would probably say for real challenge play as a warrior. Rogue's good for middle of the road. That's about it. Other than that, that's the three classes. Let's get to the next section of the video. Now, this is where you're at. You're in the uh, town. So when you start off every Diablo game, either single player or uh, multiplayer, this is where you're at. This is the central hub. So let's go ahead and do the UI first. Now this is your uh, character sheet. First of all, you see level, that's your uh, character's current level, where they're at. Now experience points, that's the current experience points they have. Next level, that's the uh, target that the current experience points needs to get. Once those two numbers matches, then you gain a level and a new uh, goal is set. Gold is actually how much money you have. And of course your uh, stats, strength, magic, dexterity, and vitality is right there. Points to distribute is every time you level, you gain points. So let's go over uh, each of the uh, stats. Now the first one I'm going to talk about is strength. The strength stat is how hard you can hit via with melee weapons, etc. Now strength is also governor the uh, what you can equip, such as weapons and armor. More strength you have, more heavy uh, armor you can equip, more better weapons. Now magic, that also... Uh, does is uh, increase your mana pool and your uh, spells you could learn. So for example, you have high magic and learn uh, powerful spells such as fireball. Now dexterity does is allows you to use uh, ranged weapons such as bows. Also adds to chance to uh, hit, which is really uh, good. Next up is vitality, gives you more health. More vitality you have, more health you have. And that should be it for the four stats. Now points to distribute under it is five so you can do that wisely and there's a set uh, cap for each uh, character so I'll let you all explore that 
Now, armor class is more armor class you have, uh, less damage you uh, take. Second of all, to hit, more uh, to hit you have, more chance to hit you can land on a foe. So that is very good. Higher the damage, more damage you could do. So that's really nice. There's your resistance. There's three types of resistance. Magic, fire, and lightning. In the world of Diablo 1, there's three uh, types of damage. Well, the hidden one is holy, but that's not much. It's magic, fire, and lightning. Those are uh, your uh, resistance. You have higher number of those, better it is. There's your life and health. Left is your uh, max. Right is your uh, current. And if you see that red, you're close to uh, your uh, death on life or uh, close to losing mana. And this next section, this is where your uh, quest log is at. You talk to uh, the village people and it'll give you a story. So yeah, you have to listen in on them. For example, we have the uh, butcher. And yeah, that's that quest to kill the butcher and avenge the uh, guy who uh, died. You'll uh, see where he's at in a few uh, moments. So that's your uh, quest log. This is your uh, map. There's no all mapping in town. It's in the dungeon. This is your menu option. So you could save, options, new, load, or quit. You cannot save online, so keep that in mind. This is your inventory. So it's all set up in squares. And uh, you got to make sure you have enough inventory space. If not, you have to go back uh, into town. This is your spell book. So this way you can learn, see what spells you have currently learned from a book. There's also your uh, class skill up top. On uh, page one, there's four pages for this original Diablo. Again, I'm not talking about Hellfire. That has five. So let's go ahead and do this uh, next section. Now, repair can repair items, however, max durability drops, warrior cl uh, class skill only, it's alright. Still, don't use it uh, beyond the first two levels. Staff recharge can recharge staffs, however, max staff charges drops. This is sorcerer only, it's alright, but don't use it for two levels. Disarm traps can get rid of traps, not much traps in the game, it kind of sucks. Now for scrolls, town portal can call a portal to town from a dungeon, so you could go back and uh, buy and sell things. Once you go into portal, that portal's... Uh, Gone when you uh, go back to the dungeon. Apocalypse, a powerful AoE spell, scroll form only in the original Diablo. Now, after that is identify, can identify items that you find that's unidentified. Real good, good to save money. Improvision, can see in the dark. Resurrect, can revive players, multiplayer only. Nova, lightning damage around, uh, around you. Foes will get hit with it. Phasing, random teleports the uh, player. Telekinesis, can pick up items from a distance. Teleport, you use it, click at any location, and the uh, player will go there. Most of those are alright. Nova's are uh, uh, fine just for uh, quick damage. And uh, Town Portal, very valuable. Same thing as Identify. Now, let's talk about the book spells. Blood Star, magic bolt that can travel far. Very good magic uh, damage ability. Bone Spirit, magic bolt can home in on targets. Much better in my personal opinion. Chain Lightning, large area of attack that deals lightning damage can be uh, crazy at times, but it's great uh, lightning damage dealer. Now, Charge Bolt can send out small lightning uh, bolts at once. It's all right. Good start item. Elemental shoots a uh, fire elemental that homes in on targets. There's better fire spells. Fireball, one of the most powerful spells in the game. Can hit a single target or a cluster of small targets. Really powerful. Max this out ASAP. Fire Bolt, good uh, starter uh, bolts uh, fire spell for uh, new players. Good for uh, sorcerers. Firewall, drop a firewall down on the ground. Great against a certain encounter. Flame wall, uh, it launches a, a firewall that's mobile, that attacks. It's all right, but I prefer the stationary one. Flash, one space radius version of uh, Nova Magic. It's all right. There's better. Nolum, summons a companion that could uh, damage foes. This is a nice tank. Uh, Guardian summon three-headed dragon that does fire damage. Anyone immune to fire is useless. It disappears after a while. It's a decent spell. Healing heals your own health. Pretty good. Heal other. Heals other players' health. MP only. That's a good one too. Holy Bolt does special damage against the undead. It's great to uh, pull the final boss too. Now Infernal Flamethrower spell. It's uh, like a short burst fire spell. It's not bad at all to have. Uh, lightning. Fires lightning towards a foe in a straight line. It's a decent one. Stone curse turns a uh, foe into stone, which is a uh, decent man shield. Cast a bow around you. What happens is you uh, take uh, damage for mana until mana's gone. And then, uh, yeah, that's it for the bubble. So it's a very good spell, mana shield. That is my thoughts for the spells I decided to give you all. 
uh, my uh, vice on. Now next up is the uh, square I am messing around. You can hotkey your spells, which is very uh, good. Simply uh, click on that icon I'm messing with. And then uh, what you do is uh, click on it, then uh, hit your uh, F keys, which is uh, F5 through F8. So this way you can set up your own uh, hotkeying. So for example, you want to hotkey that fireball spell, mana shield, chain lightning, and bone spirit. Well, you usually open the uh, thing up like I'm doing. Hit F5, F6, F7, or F8. See, I'm just doing this as a demonstration. You can hotkey uh, identification scrolls, town portals too, other skills uh, too. You can also uh, override certain hotkeys, which is uh, really uh, good. So let's get to the next portion of the video. Let me uh, go ahead and dive deep in Diablo 1's item system. Now, first of all, items will have uh, certain stats requirements. For example, this uh, staff I have, uh, you will have to uh, you have uh, 15 magic in order to use it. You do not have it, you cannot use it. Same thing with certain armor and uh, melee weapons. You don't have enough strength, you cannot use it. Also, uh, bows have a dexterity requirement too. Now, second of all, there's prefixes and suffixes on uh, items you do find once you identify them. Then, uh, guess what? There's your prefixes and suffixes. Now, in single player, there are unique items too that gives you uh, positive and negative bonuses. So, look out for uh, those too. There's some uh, uniques that are only to multiplayer too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the uh, blue item prefixes and suffixes. So here we go. Please, listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus, he led us down here to find the lost prince. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead, killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avenge us!
please, listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus, he led us down here to find the lost prince. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead, killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avenge us! That's it for the uh, blue level item prefixes and suffixes. So what's my final advice? Uh, white hue items, uh, keep them until you find blue ones that are much better. Blue ones, hold on to them until you find something that's uh, better, like another blue or uniques. As for uniques, there are some are exclusive to single player or multiplayer. Others are uh, both. So just uh, remember that. Our uh, next section of video, I'm going to go ahead and explore the uh, town hub. So first of all, you want to get some information. Now, in single player, characters like uh, this uh, drunk is uh, useful. In multiplayer, not so much really. So, this is just like flavor text. So, if you want to get in the uh, world of Diablo 1 or uh, get in that role playing mood, well, just talk to these uh, people. There you, uh, this uh, drunk's usefulness, not really uh, so, but it's good to talk to him for information if you need any. So, now our next stop of the town tour is uh let's see here this guy the uh, elders you see he could identify items for you but it does cost you gold so just remember that also you could talk to uh, him too for flavor text information possibly uh, certain quests will uh, pop up in single player multiplayer is useful for identifying items now this guy the healer so let me explain you can receive healing which is good so it's like free healing. It does not heal mana. It heals health. You can also buy uh, health potions and at times rejuvenation potions. Now rejuvenation potions will either heal part of your health and mana at the same time or full rejuvenation could heal both. And health potions obviously will heal your uh, health uh, too. So next up is Griswold. This guy you could uh, buy and sell stuff. You could buy uh, certain uh, weapons, armor too. You cannot buy staffs. We'll visit that person. You can also repair too. And unfortunately, he will not recharge your uh, staffs. That's another person. We'll show you that later on. And uh, he also has uh, regular items you could also uh, buy. He also has premium items you could buy, which is more expensive, could be more powerful. You can also sell to him like I'm doing right now for extra cash. So you can offload that gold. And remember, uh, repair your items too. It helps you out big time. So if your uh, item is not repaired yet, yeah, that's uh, basically you're not going to be able to use it. And also, one more thing. White means you can use. Red, you cannot use. Blue means it's a rare quality item. Now, gold, that's unique. And yeah, he does not sell uniques. Trust me. You can also talk to Griswold too for uh, certain quests in single player. Now, this guy, you can get certain quests from him in single player, and uh, it's flavor text. He is more useful in single player than multiplayer. So, the tavern guy is useful at times in single player, multiplayer, not so much. So, we're going to go ahead to uh, Jillian. Now, she is useful on one or two instances in uh, single player. As for multiplayer, yeah, flavor text. Like I said before, you want to get in the world Diablo 1. Go ahead and talk to these NPCs. They'll give you information about certain ones too. Other than that, she's just there for flavor text. So we're going to go ahead and get to the next one. Better bring gold though. I'm going to tell you all this now. Now, on the outskirts of town is this uh, NPC. Yeah, we're going to go uh, this direction. You see this little bridge? Just keep on going this way. Yeah, just uh, uh, go this way. Just remember this way because when you get deeper in the game, you'll have to come back here. Uh, later on, I'll explain the uh, dungeon system, but for now, here's this guy, Wirt, the peg leg boy. For 50 gold pieces, he'll show you his uh, special inventory. Now, this inventory could be either a roll of dice, it could be totally crap, or totally great. However, it costs a lot of gold, so if you have tons of gold, you could definitely uh, get something very good by chance. 
Unfortunately, I cannot use this hammer. I don't have 40 strength, and I do not have the gold anyways. So, Wirt is a crapshoot. So, if you uh, have the gold, like I said before, go ahead and do so. If you do not, yeah, don't waste your gold on him. He's just like a roll of dice. It's just like Las Vegas, except for you're going to lose all the time. So, now, next up, we're going to go ahead and get the last and final NPC, the uh, Witch. Now, this uh, NPC, this is where you get your, all your uh, magical goods. You're going to see a few moments. Just uh, go this direction, this way. Just remember uh, this part of the area as you get further into the uh, game. There's the cows. And, yeah, there is no cow levels. That's Diablo 2, everyone. And there is the witch. Now, my character is the sorcerer. So, this is a great place for my sorcerer. There's her shop. You can talk to her for your certain uh, single player quests. Says buy items or sell items. Now, like the uh, Griswold, the items are random at times. Uh, especially in multiplayer, you could buy uh, certain items. You can also recharge your staffs for a price and get potions. So those are very important. You get identification scrolls, other scrolls like town portal, and books. Yeah, spell books. Spell books are random. I'm gonna give everybody a powerful hint right now. So, if you're uh, playing Diablo 1, either single player or multiplayer, look for the uh, Book of uh, Firewall. If you have enough cash for it, buy it as ASAP. Just trust me, you'll uh, see, I'll explain why later on. But still, there's uh, some good items you could actually uh, get from her from time to time, if you are uh, patient. So, that's about it for her, uh, her. Unfortunately, she does not heal mana. And one more place I am going to show everyone is the front of the church. This is where you start out your uh, first level of the game. And by the way, the levels are randomly generated. Now, single player is just uh, one set of random generation. You stick to it. Multiplayer, it's different every time. That's why this game is neat. So you go to the church, go to the direction I'm going, past the uh, town portal areas. You'll see that later on in the video. There'll be a guy there. That's where you start out your uh, first uh, quest of the game. Also enter the dungeon. Now, speaking of dungeons, the map works here. And let me explain. There are four tier of dungeons. One through four is the uh, church one. Five through eight is the catacombs. Nine through, uh, I believe it's 12, is the caves. And then the uh, last four ones is a certain bad place. I'll just leave it at that. And the uh, 16th one is the final level of the game. Now you can go up the stairs or down the stairs, see? Now, if you were playing on a PC that's 20 or uh, so years ago old, yeah, that loading screen will be long. Not today. Now, be careful when you go in dungeons. Uh, certain containers are trapped or full of monsters that attack you. And when you see gold like that, pick it up and hover your mouse around. So, as for MDs, there are three different variants. Number one, there's yard trash like that. They're uh, common in their own uh, level regions. The uh, four ones. Number two, there are unique named enemies. They're a souped up version of the yard trash. Number three, there are bosses. That includes single player story ones. And the four, which is uh, on this level. The big old skeleton on three. The one, uh, I'll probably say at that place. And the final boss of the game. Now, when you fight foes, try to fight them one at a time. If you rush in like a fool, you will die like a fool. And yes, mobs will uh, mob you in this game. I should say monsters will mob you. So, consider them mobs at time when you see a whole bunch of them. I'm still looking for that unique. Yeah, when you see a unique, go after it. You never know. You might get something good. And uniques have their own uh, powerful uh, strengths. Also weaknesses. And when you defeat enough uh, foes like for example you defeat enough zombies you get their uh, stats they'll tell you how many kills uh, you did to them how many hit points they have and if there's any immunities they uh, do have other than that just take your time on foes don't rush in and if you're fighting a boss plan wisely one more thing make a save in single player because if you rush in say on level 3 you will get mobbed on level 3 that's another special uh, tip from me other than that, just explore. Watch out for uh, traps, including barrels, etc. And I'm going to do is uh, kill this foe. Then I'm going to give you a special tip about that room I tell you all not to open. Unless you have a firewall scroll or a firewall uh, spell learned. So let's go ahead and uh, get that tip. 
I'm gonna give everybody one secret tip. Now, do not open this room up until you have a ranged weapon and a distance you could get to that place. Now, uh, please note, if you, are, if you kill a certain enemy at a spot of, a, say, a door, that door will not open and close. Don't do that because you could go inside that door, lower the butcher there, close it real quick. When you're on one side, he's on the other. You could attack him from with ranged weapons. Or if you cast a fire, uh, what do you call it, firewall against the butcherer, then close that door real quick. The butcher will uh, take damage. That's my advice about the dungeon. So let's get to the next part. Now, in order to level up, you need to kill enough enemies that give you enough experience points. Once that happens, you get the level up icon. Click on the red and uh, black uh, icon. You can distribute stats very evenly or put them all in one uh, stat. Now, if they are at the uh, class of certain cap for each uh, stat, then you cannot do that no more to said stat. For example, if you cap at strength for a sorcerer, well, you got your other three stats to uh, do. The cap uh, level for this game is 50. So let's go ahead and talk about shrines. Just like um, randomly generated levels, inside the levels there are uh, coffins, barrels, bookcases, scroll stands, book stands, and etc. There's also shrines too. Unfortunately, I did not find any since this was fact was randomly generated level. Yeah, Diablo is famous for that. So what I'm going to do instead is show you what each of these shrines do. Some of them are exclusive to multiplayer, some are exclusive to single player. So here's every single one of them. Enjoy. <laughs> Please, listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus. He led us down here to find the Lost Prince. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead. Killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avenge us!
what's my final advice on shrines before you use look at the information I give you otherwise it might nerf you so uh, be careful now next step is town portal as you see my uh, inventory is full simply grab a town portal scroll cast it on the uh, area you want to cast it and voila you're in town now my advice about town portals are very simple buy and sell that's uh what you want to do also if you're playing multiplayer yeah be careful of town portals some people might just uh pop a town portal and then uh ambush you and player kill you or uh pop a town portal and let the monsters kill you so they get your hard-earned items and yet, when you do die in Diablo uh, 1 to monsters, uh, your items drop. In single player, you have to reload your game. Now, in multiplayer, you'll be naked in town. You have to go back down a dungeon and get your uh, corpse back. Yeah, and you lose half your uh, gold. Now, in multiplayer, when you die by a player, you lose your gold and you lose an ear. Yeah, so just uh, be careful. That's why I'm tying this in with town portals. So other than that, use your town portals to uh, offload items, and then go back into the action. I'll uh, show you uh, what happens when you uh, use a town portal in town. Now, remember uh, town portals, once you use them in a dungeon, you get back into town. Once you uh, go into the town portal from the town, that portal does disappear. See, it is uh, gone. So that's how town portals work. Also, that's how the uh, death system works in single player and multiplayer. So now next up, let's go ahead and talk about another topic. Now, I'm going to briefly talk about multiplayer. First of all, there used to be modem connections and LAN. That's where you could connect computers together. We don't have modems no more. Instead, we have uh, better connections these days. So also, uh, to, in order to get online now, it's a battle net. You could all make your own private channel by typing in the name of the channel you want to make. For example, Fenton's World, you could do that. Go to the other channels. And also uh, join games, as long as you uh, know the password, etc. Now, here's the thing. When you play multiplayer, there are three difficulties. Now, yeah, the difference is between multiplayer and single player is this. Single player is only on normal. That's it. Multiplayer, there's three. Uh, one through 30, I would probably say is your normal difficulty. That's where everyone should start. Uh, at least 30 to 40 is nightmare mode. That's the middle of the road. 40 to 50, welcome to hell. That's the highest difficulty. Higher the difficulty, the better the loot. The uh, higher difficulty also, the harder the monsters hit. So remember that. Now, if you're making a private game, please note if you're uh, streaming this game ever or uh, doing a Let's Play series, do not, I repeat, do not use the map in multiplayer because your uh, password gets shown. Now, you notice two buttons. Well, one with the swords crossed, that means it's player versus player enabled. You cannot do it in town. If someone kills you in town, they're using a third party program. Run, get out of there, no matter what. Uh, number two with the player versus player button, it only works uh, down in the dungeon from 1 to 16. Uh, you cro hit the uh, two sword crosses, you could attack another player. They could do the same to you if they uh, do that. Two swords up, they cannot. Now, in order to communicate with each other, especially back in the day, we just type things in. So, like, for example, I could say, yeah, I just saw the uh, Episode 6 Star Wars movie, Return of the Jedi. It's great. Yeah, we used to talk about that all the time. Now, here's another thing I'm going to give everybody advice on, too. Uh, the uh, maps are random each time. So, for example, if you like a layout of, saying the first level of the uh, dungeon you go into, it's great. But if you leave, that layout is gone. When you make a new game, it's a different layout. That's what why Diablo 1 is great. Same thing with Diablo 2, especially if you play that on multiplayer. So that's about it for multiplayer. Here's my final advice before I do end the video. Now, first of all, for uh, sorcerers, I'll probably say is Fireball is the best for them. Along you couple with that with the Man Shield, aka the Bubble. Chain Lightning is a good alternative. Same thing with Bone Spirit. Nom's nice too for a, a short-term pet. As for uh, rogues, use the uh, Nom. Maybe some of the other spells, but they'll be at weaker levels. As for the uh, warrior, yeah, the uh, stone curse is uh, good. For all three, yeah, invest in uh, firewall at the start and uh, holy bolt. Now, when you first play this game, just take your time. Go slow. If you need to save, go ahead. Do not save in single player at the wrong spot. You might get mauled. As for multiplayer, take a lot slower. 
Carry some uh, Town Portal Scrolls in case you're in trouble. Run away. And just pop one. Yeah, also run away. Watch out for uh, traps. And uh, know your uh, character well. When you level up, that is great. If you're uh, playing multiplayer constantly or you just want to play it just for uh, it's more fun than single player, well, you could just uh, dungeon har farm, I should say. So, for example, clear out the one first two levels without being some bosses, exit the game, make a new game, keep farming until you get certain items you want. Other than that, this is a fun game to uh, play. So just uh, take it easy, have a good time, know what your class setups are, and just use my uh, timestamps for the shrines, prefixes, uh, suffixes, and my thoughts about spells. Well, this is it for my original Diablo 1 Don't Panic New Player Guide video. This is Lorfent signing off. Thank you for watching. And have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. If you like what you see, check out my suggestions on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestions of one of my videos on the upper right hand corner. Have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe. <laughs>